Hello, I'm Andrew Simon. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. As Democratic Denmark, we're currently fighting the Soviet Union and the whole of Comintern, which is, uh, well, it's messy. Let's, let's put it that way. Um, right, concentrating on our bits. How are we doing? Doing okay. Most importantly, our front over here, our actual border. Squish them. Squish them good. Who does wins? Lovely. Uh, enemy is out. Priority. That's not allowed. Now I've controlled this airfield. Let's send over a load of jet fighters. Make it 600. And then I'd like you to just deploy straight away. Right. Um, now, one thing I did want to do is this unit here. Let's give an offensive order to connect up over here and then to push forwards and connect up here. No, I don't want you to come off of um, there. It's not really what I meant to have two of them, but I guess the allies are there, so whatever. Uh, yes, and I'm going to assign everyone to here. And then, can I like split in half? There we go. And go. Attack straight away. You got this. What I'm going to do is just try and pin some movement them, since they've kind of forgotten about us here. We can always send extra reinforcements up from this, although they were originally pegged for this front, but whatever. Have I got forces that are not attached to an army? Unassigned. I have no idea where you are, but you are now assigned to this army. Anyone else unassigned? There's a couple here and there. Can I, like, assign by fit? Yes, I can. So all the unassigned should be together. You disappoint me, unassigned. Trying to dodge your duty to your country. Uh, yes, sure. 12 divisions from Luxembourg. Pleading hell. Luxembourg are really getting in the fight, aren't they? Right, can you just tell me where you are? Take me to you. Take me to your leader. Can I like assign to a division? Yeah, I can do that, right. That's a bit of an annoying, cheaty way around, but whatever. Uh, we'll assign you to this front. Right, who else? Luxembourg's forces. Actually, kind of mixed in with all my forces anyway. There you go. Enjoy. Anyone else? Three left. Done. They're trying to get forces over here to defend it. We've got to stop them. Oh, I meant, didn't mean retreat, but whatever. Technically, we're going to grab Vienna from this, though, so... Worth it. Might be able to make Austria, like, capitulate. Yeah! Sweet. That's what I was hoping for. Now just surround and murder them. What do we need? Oil. Did they take some oil off of us? No, just new more oil. Okay. And steel. 
Denmark, one of the biggest importers in the world. Really? I'm pretty sure Denmark has a population of about 5.6 million currently, but whatever. This is an interesting alternate history. I like it. We did actually successfully attack down here. I'm going to push my luck and keep on the pressure. Looks like they managed to take a province officer there. Sure, send me all your divisions. I'll pick them up later. Now I'm deliberately going to be spreading my forces out here. Try and grab this land before they can really properly retreat. Doing well up here. And you're done with your attack. Okay, so half of your forces... Send over here. The other half, uh, you're going to need to send up here. Here's the tough part. You're now not a general. I'm sorry. Uh, we need to promote you. You're a field marshal now. Enjoy. Two divisions? Really? Alright, select all. Then half. There we go. Better. 18-18. Oh, what do we need now? More oil. Of course it's oil. Right, now we've managed to push back this, uh, like, front. We're going to go to a bit more balanced execution. Right, we got this. Oh, hello. What's this? United States versus Turkish Socialist Republic. It's a very large navy you have in the Black Sea. That's quite a large navy. I have a, I have a unit here because... Thank you for giving me that. Right. Unit, go to Sevastopol. Sevastopol's going to be the most important thing here. Actually, no, there is a port here. Sevastopol is much better, though. You've given military access to the Soviet Union and China. Interesting choices. Um, ooh, I'm gonna stage a coup. In Burgas. Democratic. We're working on Yugoslavia. I'm gonna stage a coup. In, uh... Ooh, where, where, where touches our border? Slovenia. Gonna try and get them to go democratic and join us. Oh, no! Someone shot down someone! I didn't check which side it was, but I'm sure it was really important. All right. Yeah, we somewhat sold our front edge here. That's fine. So make sure you're not going, you know, too heavy on that front. Yeah, balanced. Right, let's switch to a more cautious maneuver. And attack. You, you know you can't win that. Yeah, you've, you've not even bothered. You're like, no, can't win that. Fine. Do we have S priority over here? We haven't tried. I think that means that we should try, don't you? The great thing is we managed to get a uh, airbase down here. So, jet fighter. Only 400. I can take a lot more. The reason I'm giving it 400 is because... Um, 
Well, quite frankly, I don't think we need to have any more down here. Like, no one's going to commit enough. That said, we need some in the Middle East. This isn't covering the entire area. So we'll get another 400 in. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, don't need any in the Caucasus region. Yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, I was wondering what I did with those. There we go. Yeah, I've got good SPRT. This area here, not so much. Right. We got a... Uh, 200? Meh. It's filled up. Zero out of zero. That's not great. I assume it's damaged. 600. It's a little bit further away. I want this airbase. Don't damage it. Just need to take it. Okay, can we use this airbase now? Yes, sweet. Uh, jet fighter. Make it about 600. Let's get them up. How long will it take to deploy? 1.6. Oh, because time's going really slow right now. Okay. Well, we're not doing too badly in terms of expanding our frontage. A wild ace appears. Lovely. I promise Poland isn't really uh, budging. Could just nuke some of their forces, but that would be a little bit of waste. How much is Lod's worth? Can't tell. Right, they have a lot of troops here. Let's nuke that. They're going to use a tactical nuke. Right. Now we hit them. Keep them on the back foot. Can nuke him again? We've only got two nukes left now. There we go, right. And let's grab any forces nearby we can. Let's get them to push there. Before they get reinforced. We could try and cut these forces off. We'll need uh, a few units for that, though. All right, get your asses up here. I've got a plan. Japan army embraces Hukushuryon. Um Natural resources need for a prolonged war effort. The rising tension and outbreak of the armed. Blah, 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 blah. The threat of import loss seems greater by the day. To count this, Japan strategies come with a strategic plan to seize Siberia mines and oil fields from the Soviet Union. Ooh. War in Siberia seems inevitable. Interesting. I mean, I approve. Yeah, they've fallen back. Keep up the pressure there. What about over here? Did we... We did tell you to go to war, right? Yeah, you're just doing it very, very cautiously. So there's, like, very little going to go on unless we find a very advantageous situation. All right. We're going to hit Baghdad.
I'd love to be able to cut those off, but I don't think there's any way we're going to be able to manage that. Taking out Tehran is going to be incredibly tough. We just don't know the forces. Supply issues over here. Yeah. Iraqi people state has been captured. That's what I thought happened when I grabbed Baghdad. Right. Ooh, we're starting to run out on manpower, though. How's that recruitment going? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're going to have to reduce that order. And we'll get rid of these infantry divisions. There we go. But more free military factories. I don't know what to do with them. More tanks. Can I just use them to make people? Can we just build people? I'd like to build people, please. More tanks. And then it's going to complain when you steal for them. I know. Right, I think we're good. I think we got this. Just be cautious. What have we turned this into? Germany's controlling it, but it still it still seems pink to me. I have no idea what's going on there. We managed to cut off a very large number there. Uh, next level of excavation, yeah. Get more resources. Fight is slow and bloody up that front. But it is working. Right, where are all those unassigned we got told about? Oh, on this front, I can just box select then. Uh, actually, I'll just let them do a thing for now. Like, they're on the front anyway. Could nuke you, but the surrounding state is actually mostly mine. No, it's German. Oh, that's fine. We're winning that anyway. I don't need to really interfere with a nuke. Right. How Lithuania's capitulated? They were one, like, uh, province state. Like, of course they're going to capitulate. We've got Krakow. We've got Lodz. We're going to get Warsaw. If we get Warsaw, they might capitulate. So let's make a concerted effort. Could nuke it again. Okay. I'm going to force an opening next to Warsaw. And I'm going to take it from there rather than taking it over a river. Okay, Warsaw, you're mine. Yeah, okay, maybe we need to drop a nuke on them. They're reinforcing. I don't like them reinforcing. Yeah, I would have, like air control any minute now. Drop a tactical nuke. Take it over. That's the plan. Oh, we've got to have like control. Yeah, we do. Right. Nuke. They capitulated. Hit him. Hit him now. Yes. I'm 
I'm not sure what this is. Oh, United Kingdom. Okay. That explains why it's almost the same color. I was perturbed. I was still holding out. The longer it holds out, the more reinforcements and equipment they're going to get. Like, I ruined a lot of them with that nuke, but... Right, what do we need? More chromium? Really? It's all those tanks using all that chromium. But it is working. Our front is expanding. We succeeded in getting all the way to here, but we haven't actually got troops there yet. We're just going to get close enough to Moscow. We can drop nukes on it. What's your national unity behind? Only 70%. Okay. I thought it was going to get higher by now because you've done the options and stuff to boost it. Yeah, we've got this. Just going to keep the ball rolling. Which is why I would like those mechanized, but they're going to take ages to build. Yeah, Death is going to hold out a while. It's got, yeah, it's got land thought. You know what? I'm not going to do anything with those three military factories. Because partly they're going to get damaged by occupying forces. You know, I'm an occupying force. There's going to be, like, people going, ah, break it. Also because I'll need more stuff, uh, imports and so on. And I don't know what I'd spend them on. I frankly don't. I don't have the manpower to man anything. I need that manpower for my incredible push that I'm going to be doing soon. I'm watching Turkey very carefully because I think they'll start to siphon forces from here for that front. And then, that's my strike. Like, the estimated plan is going up. Inferior enemy. It likes it. Strike now. Oh, do you even have a plan? You don't have a plan. That'd be why. Here's a plan. And then... Like that. Do you like that plan? You like it enough. Do it. And that, I think, is where we're going to leave it for today. Why have I got one unit up? You know what? I don't know. I don't really care. I just, I don't, no, I don't, I don't want to ask. <sighs> I've been really seen. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time, we continue our new war. And hopefully, just sort of this little bit here in the center. That way we can get our lines, like, met up and push a little bit more succinctly not succinctly what's the word uniformly no cohesively there we go we can push more cohesively with one giant front like I could do it now but there'd be this weird bubble and I have to sort out the weird bubble and it would just get annoying uh, we also could start producing more nukes hopefully yeah uh, we don't need to do these I don't need more military factories oh god no uh, oh, I meant to do minus two, minus two, minus one. Because since we're already, like, a good deal done. And then just nukes. Nukes as far as the eye can see. But until then, stay shiny.